Hey, what is going on guys? Weebly YouTube here, back with another video. And I've got a return of the Duelist booster box here. I've actually opened a booster box since Battle Pack Epic Dawn. So this should certainly be interesting. So I'm just going to get straight into it, you guys. Um, I don't particularly love this set, uh, but thankfully we do have a money card in it, which is pretty good. So, um, okay, so we start with this guy. Giorgiano MK2. People don't really want him in the main deck, so, you know, there's a reason. He's kind of situational. People prefer to have a, a deck with, like, a single level monster, like level 4 Earth, so that it could be a lot more synergy with the deck and stuff. One of the uh, TCG exclusives, Eco Mystical Spirit of the Forest. Uh, just too rare so far. It's not too bad. Come on, you stupid pack. Haha, <laughs> Block Golem. Awesome. And, possibly the worst Ultra Rare I could have gotten, Heroic Shaman Excalibur. Waste of time. <laughs> And Revival Golem for the rare. He's actually pretty good. I like him. I don't know what it is about me, but I always seem to get the car the ultras that were released in the collector's tins. Or the cards that were released in collector's tins as ultras. It happened to me with shooting Star Dragon and Red Over Dragon in the same box. Uh the Shoe Valley guy. I think people actually look for him. But it's the super rare dude. That's his search of a one of them is his search of a field spell. So Rebound, super rare. I haven't actually seen anyone with it yet, so that's okay. I think it's when an effect is activated that returns a card, uh, monster to the hand or something. You, you do the same thing. You bounce the monster to their deck or something weird like that. I don't know. So we already have the ultra. That's kind of gay. Crystal bones. Unless someone wants an ultra version of probably Champion Excalibur, it wasn't actually that great at all. Oh well. Sad W Phoenix Bow. Nevertheless, there could still be more supers, ultis, an ulti, or whatever. So, Swordbreaker. I actually don't think he's that bad at all. I don't know why people give him so much stick. And one of the Thunder guys, or Thunder, or however when you say it. So, not too shabby. Stupid pack. There we go. Another revival golem. There. And Hierophant of Prophecy. That is another ultra. Two ultras. That's odd. It's probably one of probably the two worst ultras in the set. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> one of them was re-released, and one of them sucks. Another econ skill spirit of the forest. Uh, if anyone's wondering about the commons, just ask me. Uh, I'm not going to go through them, obviously, so. Oh, dear God. You are kidding me. Another heroic champion Excalibur. Ghost. I mean, he looks bitchin', but my God, what a waste. Oh, sickening. Um, yeah. He does look really, really cool. And he's probably worth something. Another Madalshi Chevalier. That's alright. That was only 12 packs, believe it or not. But uh, we still have supers to get. I mean, I haven't got many supers yet. So I expect there to be more in this half. Temperance, yeah. And another Pa Hunter fella. For those who are interested in rarities. Uh, the, the ghost. Heroic Champion Excalibur might have been kind of cool. But, uh, you're going MK2. But not for me, I'm afraid. I have no interest in such things. You will get one moment where I say, he looks amazing, and then... Huh. An upside down card. How weird. So the two Ultras are gone. The Ghost is gone, which means there probably won't be a secret. Have I spoke too soon? Not yet, I haven't. Madashi Tea Break. This is like a, as I said, it's like a curse of mine to get re released cards as the rares. Crystal Fella again.
Do, 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 do. Spellbook of Life. And the deck is pretty much unplayable, really. I don't know. I'm not going to say unplayable. People are probably going to comment on that. I just think that if it was going to do well at the start of the format, we would have seen it, you know. Um, but it hasn't topped in anything, really. So, Soul Drain. I like that card. Um, it's not nearly as useful as it could be, to be honest. But I still like it. Uh, four more packs after this one. Fairy King Alvord each, or whatever. I have like four of those now. Because <laughs> of the sneak peek, I got to when I got a pack, I got a tournament and got another one, and blah blah blah. Blue Dragon Ninja, terrible exclusive. Wow, this box is bad. This is bad. <laughs> he doesn't even look that cool. Prophecy Destroyer. That's the ulti. Again, he looks cool, but it's irrelevant to me whether he looks cool or not. So that should be it for all the hollows. There might be one left. So let's just check it out. No. Double Lance and final pack. We shall just see. Miracle Contact, secret. Nice. It looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's it for the box. Uh, I'm just going to go through the hollows and rares and things real quick. So, for the ultras, unfortunately, <laughs> we got... All right, for the secrets, I guess. Miracle Contact, the Ghost, Heroic Champion Excalibur. Uh, Hero Phantom Prophecy, and another Heroic Champion Excalibur. And the ulti... We got Prophecy Destroyer. That's actually not bad in terms of like hollows, but in terms of what they are, it's it's pretty bad. Uh, supers, we got five. Blue Dragon Ninja, Spellbook of Life, Temperance of Prophecy, Swordbreaker, and Rebound. Um, on the plus side, I don't have any of these, obviously, since I haven't invested in the set all that much. And the rares are, you know, you've seen them, a bunch of miscellaneous rares. Uh, if anyone is looking for any of them, just be sure to let me know. Two Revival Golems. Which isn't bad. They're probably the best rares in this, like in the set, in my opinion. Because people are all, all start running Rockstone now, basically, and they use that field spell when it gets sent from the deck to the graveyard. You special summon it, so it's not too bad. Anyway, guys, that is the box. Um, pretty good. Could have been way better. A bit disappointed that I got a double of an ultra rare card, but uh, and Hierophant, who is like part of the whole spellbook thing, as well as Prophecy Destroyer, who like isn't really playable. <coughs> so the you know, the the winds of fate are telling me to play uh, Prophecies, but I'm not going to. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel. I've got a video coming up about the Seal Board Calcos, a bunch of other things. And, uh, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. As always, I am Weave, a YouTuber. Da -da 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 -da. And I am signing out. Peace, guys.